Today's video is about how to make positive elixir trade. So making positive elixir trades is the key to win the games in Clash Royale. Number 1. By using your princess tower. In this case, Valkyries versus Valkyrie. But they fight in my side. After the fight, she still got about 40% hit point. 4 elixir for 4 elixir. But if your opponent ignore her, she'll do some pretty good damage to the tower. Number 2. By using Swami or cheap cards. The Swami is like Skarmy, Goblin Gang, Bass. The cheap cards are Skeletons and Spirits. In this case, Skarmy costs 3 elixir, but they can counter pick up pretty well. Even he got a witch behind his back. 3, 4, 7, sweet. Number 3. By using flash damage heroes. In this case, my opponent dropped a witch and elite barbarians near each other. Then I wait and drop down a Valkyrie. She can kill all of them. 4 for 11. How cool is that? Number 4. By using spells. It's kind of like number 3, but using spell instead of heroes. Like fireball or lightning. And that is why you should never put all the heroes in one spot. Number 5. By using tank killer. Tank killers are like... Mini Pekka, Pekka, Skarmy, etc. etc. So in this case, he drop a witch and a giant. So I block the witch and use the Skarmy to counter the giant. 3, 4, 5. But if he ignore my Skarmy, then tons of them into the tower. Number 6, by using the one that can counter the others. The last one is kind of like the conclusion of all of these above. In this case, you go to counter the wizard. That's one of the reasons why pro players usually wait for their opponent to go for the first move. So they can just using the one that can counter the opponent's card. Number 7. By letting your opponent attack your tower, then kill the hero later. Sometimes the put is so hard, or just simply because you don't have the right card to counter. Just let your opponent attack your tower, then kill the hero later.